I want to just talk with you briefly about three stages that you go through as an entrepreneur and why it is so powerful to have all of you here today. You know, the first stage that you go through I would call no reason. No reason. And you've all heard it. No reason simply means there's no reason why I should do business with you. There are plenty of other people I can do business with. I don't know you. Why would I want to do business with you? There's no reason I should give up my old supplier, my old vendor. There's no reason why I should commit any attention to you. There's no reason I should even listen to you. And what you must have in all of these instances is an understanding that that's an external message, but what's most important is that internal message. You've got to couple that external message, as many of you have, with an internal message where you give it right back to them. You have to say to yourself, there's absolutely no reason why I can't get this deal. There's absolutely no reason why I can't make this money. There's absolutely no reason why I can't succeed. You know, I had those kinds of feelings when we were first launching our company and I was in the basement and I was calling people every day and they were saying no. And finally someone said yes and I looked at the phone like, what? Are you kidding? And I said to my partner, they want us to fly out and have a meeting and talk with them about doing business with them. And he said, what, are you kidding? And we flew out, we had meetings, and we still thought we was a part of a hoax. And I remember at one point I gave a presentation for a product that we didn't have. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Asking for money that we really needed. You know, it got so bad that I used to send $20 in the Federal Express envelope to my business partner so that he could eat over the weekend. And he'd do the same for me. So we sat in a corporate office uh, talking about the technology we were developing, and we were asking for several million dollars to participate in this, and we weren't even sure that we could pay the, pay the hotel room. And uh, when they said to us, well, what do we need to do to participate in this with you? And I said to the uh, group, well, tell us what you have to offer. My partner looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> like, what? Give them a number. But we had them do a presentation, and ultimately that turned into a multi-million dollar partnership. But no reason was one of the issues that drove us in understanding that we had to overcome that, and we had to tell ourselves something different in that conversation. You have to be able to tell yourself something. It's a modification from my book, You Can Still Win. You have to say, I can still win. So say that with me, I can still win. Now the next phase you go through is good reason. And good reason is a little better than no reason, but not much. Because when you're knocking on doors and you're asking them to do business with you, you know what they say? I'm good. I've got good reason not to deal with you. You see, I've been working with this other vendor for a long time. You see, our budget isn't there yet. We can't allocate dollars for this. You see, we've done an analysis and this isn't quite the right fit. We've got a new person coming in and they're going to be responsible for that and I want them to make the decision. They have all kinds of good reasons on why they shouldn't do business with you. And what do you have to say? You have to say there's good reason for me to succeed. There's good reason for me to get this deal. There's good reason for me to progress. There's good reason for me to make this happen. And what I like to say in that moment is the subtitle of my book, you have to learn how to break through. So say with me, break through. Say it's stronger than that. You, are you, you po folks break through or what? Say break through. Break through. Say bounce back. bounce back. Come from behind. Come from behind. And my favorite part is flourish. Say with me, flourish. flourish. That's the name of the game. The third stage and the final stage that you're all familiar with, but you never can forget their external and their internal message. The third stage is every reason. Well, this is when your prospects and your partners get really sophisticated. They've got every reason not to deal with you. <laughs> Very sophisticated. 
spreadsheets, analysis. Uh, they've got all kinds of people reporting to them and boards and people who are analyzing what they're doing and they're saying there's every reason not to do business with you. There's every single reason why I shouldn't do this now. And you know what you have to say, right? There's every reason why I can succeed. There's every reason why I can get this done. There's every reason why I can get this contract. When you start to think in those terms, then what you're really doing is talking to yourself in the way that matters the most as an entrepreneur, as a corporate partner, and as someone who is committed to getting things done. You know, success takes courage. It takes a lot of courage to be successful. And sometimes when people ask me, well, what, what, you know, what really does it take? It takes courage to deal with your emotions. It takes courage to look at people who are thinking that you're not quite succeeding, you're not quite where you want to be. I remember when I announced that I was going to leave corporate America and start my business full time, everyone at the dinner table got quiet. People started looking at me and coughing and getting up and clear, clearing their plates because they were not sure that I was making the right decision. But I'm so glad that I made that decision. Um, and my company, my sports company that ultimately became very successful, um, convinced me that one of the things that I should do is help other entrepreneurs and other leaders understand how to create that kind of success in their businesses.